Hiya. Well, this is going to be quite an interesting lesson, actually, because I'm going to attempt to create these three widgets down the bottom of the home page with a featured image, a headline, and some text with a read more link. And of course, obviously, the image and the headline, the read more link, will click through to a post. And on the website, on the server, we haven't got those three images and text yet. And the way I want to put them in is not with HTML, but I want to make it dynamic and I just want to have it as featured images in the blog. So the first three blog posts I want to feature on the home page. So this will involve PHP, Genesis, a Genesis featured post widget, and of course uh, HTML and CSS. So let's get going. So in the image, the first thing I'm going to do is get that size. So I'll get the layers palette, click on one of these images and command or control click on the image mask and then I get the info palette and that tells me the size 367 by 210. So remember that and then we want to get the functions PHP and that's in our theme directory called creative and in there we want to add a new image size for a featured image. Why I'm doing this will become apparent later on. But here is a way of adding a new image size, a new featured image size or a new thumbnail image size and you can put any featured image size you want there at the moment. You have some default ones already there like 150 by 150 for example and I'll show you that later. I'll also show you what that does later. But the next thing we actually have to do on the functions PHP as well is to register three more widgets and as you can see here there are two widgets registered already so what we want is three more widgets for those three featured posts and I've got the code for that here remember I pasted it in here I didn't paste it in at the end because you've got to be very careful not to put anything after the last semicolon but there's nothing different about any of these the only difference is change the name of the ID I've changed their names and I've changed the, the description so they're just the same as the two widget areas above. And so we'll save that and let's have a look at appearance widgets and make sure they're there. Great, there they are, the three new widgets. Of course, they're empty at the moment. Even if I put a widget in there, it wouldn't do anything to the site because we haven't made any page display those widgets. And that's what we're gonna do now. And to do that, we go back into our front PHP. This is the template for our homepage. And this PHP was displaying the two widgets that we have at the moment. If there is a widget active that's called home title, then the following actions happen. We remove the Genesis loop we add these two actions which we define later and we add a body class in the HTML and these two functions are of course explained down here so we're going to do exactly the same now for the three featured post widgets in here we want to add three more functions that will be display our three new widgets and here they are so I've created three more actions there one's called creative home left one's called creative home middle and the last one's called Creative Home Right. And now we're gonna define them down here as well. So these are exactly the same as the ones above. We're defining these functions, Creative Home Left, Creative Home Middle, Creative Home Right. And what we're saying is, if the size bar is active, display the widget on this page, which is the home page. There's the name of the widget, and give it a div class as well. So if I save that and then go to the site, let's put some text in and see if it works. So refresh and great, there is some nonsensical text that I've just typed in in one of the text widgets. So it's not why we did it to put in nonsensical text. We want to put in three featured posts with images. So we go to posts, add new. And we want to start with the image of the couple, so that's one's called Levering Relationships. Add media, upload files, and let's get our couple. And we're going to put that in with no alignment, no link to, and the full size. And we'll take away the title text and add it to the alt text. Insert that into post. There it is. I always prefer the text view. And then we'll add some dummy copy. So I'll publish that. Usually with a blog post, you need to put it in a category, add some tags and a meta description. And now if we go back to the blog, we'll see our latest post, Leveraging Relationships. At the top there, we can click on it. And there is the post with the image. 
and the subhead and the dummy text. We've got two more posts to create, so I'm going to do those very quickly for you now. Okay, so our three new posts have been published. So we'll go to back to the blog page and here are the three new posts and if you click through to them there they are with the large image. So now I'm going to show you why we added in the functions PHP the line of the home featured image 367 by 270. So in the FTP client if you go to uploads 2013-3, obviously that's this year and this month, you'll see our, the three images that we've just most recently uploaded. Also added are one with the dimensions of the actual size we did, we did them all roughly 390 wide, and two of them with the default featured image sizes that Genesis gives us, and that's 150 by 150 and 300 by 196. And finally, the dimensions that we stated in the functions PHP which was 367 by 210 and so we have our three images all sized up correctly to our featured image size which is on our visual. All that remains for me to do now is to add these widgets to our three new widget areas. So we need to take out that dummy text that we put in and we use Genesis featured posts widget and we're going to have one number of posts to show one. We're going to check show featured image and choose our size, the 367 by 210. We're going to show post title and show excerpt and save that. Now I'm going to test that one. I'm going to see if that one works. And yes, we have the first one. Heading is very close to the image. Obviously, we don't want the text to go right across the width of the page, but we'll have to do that in the CSS later. But I just want to get the widgets working first of all. So I'm quite happy with the first one. We've got to do another one now in home middle. Exactly the same. Featured posts, number of posts to show one, number of posts to offset, one. If I order by title, then this will work. Show featured image, we've got to check our new one. Show title and leave it at that. And lastly, we've got to do our home right. Featured posts. Number of posts to show one. Number of posts to offset two. So the only difference in the three widgets is this box here is going to be the, the offset. And that will give us a different post in each widget. Order by title. Show featured image our size, show title, show excerpt, save. Right, refresh. So that's great. We've got our three featured images in the right size. Obviously we're going to have to work now on the CSS but that was a very good useful lesson to learn how to use PHP to create a dynamic template page to present featured images in a size that you want with headlines and excerpts of posts on your WordPress homepage or any other page template you desire. Hope you enjoyed that. Goodbye.